Well, welcome back to another video. So I'm filming this after I've already filmed the food shop because I completely forgot to film an intro. So yeah, I'm just the Mitchells at the moment. But anyway, I thought I would just film my Christmas food shop because I've never actually done one of these before and I know you guys love washing my food shops. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble um, and yeah, just get straight into the food shop. Okay, so this is all the Christmas food shop lined out. To be fair, I don't really feel like there's loads, loads there. Obviously there is loads in compared to what I normally have because obviously as you guys know, I live on my own um, and I don't tend to do big food shop. Um, but I feel like in comparison to a normal Christmas, there's not a lot because obviously we can only um, socialize for like one day this year. And um, that's if you're in like not tier four, I'm in tier three. So I can still see someone else on Christmas day so I'm having my mum and dad and my brother over and obviously Mitchell is here as well. Um, so yeah, like in other years I would be buying loads of like little parties and stuff but we can't do that this year. So yeah, literally I've just brought enough for Christmas day and then just little bits and bobs that me and Mitchell can nibble on after Christmas too. So let's jump straight on in. By the way, I went to Morrison's, Marks and Spencer's and I think there might be a couple of bits from Audi too. So yeah, let's start on this end first. I picked up two new trays actually. Does anyone else feel like at Christmas they always go and buy like new um, like knife sets, pans, everything like that. It's so funny isn't it? It's literally one day where you cook in but you feel like you need new everything. To be fair, it's a good kick up the ass to buy new trays because mine were disgusting. Um, so I got this one, which is a enamel oven tray. I don't know, it just looked quite nice. I bought a grey one like this last time and it didn't go, I don't know, it went rusty quite quick. So I know I've bought this one, but I'll show you why I got this one. So yeah, bought a new tray and then I also got this one and I really like this because it was like a jewel tray. Um, it's non-stick too apparently. We'll see how good this is. But yeah, I liked how it's got two compartments sort of thing. So you could put you two different things on it doesn't mix so yeah i got them both from morrison's then i picked up a cheese little selection because i feel like at christmas you just go all out of the christmas food don't you like any excuse to eat all your favorite foods i don't really have cheese boards any other time of the year so yeah i really wanted to get one of these so you get um mature cheddar french brie red leicester um wensleydale with Cre wensleydale i feel like i said that really weird wensleydale with cranberries and stilton and then i also picked up some wensleydale Am I saying that right, guys? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, the apricot one too, because I love that. Um, cheddar and balsamic onion and smoky cheddar. I just like the Christmas tree shape of this, I'm not going to lie. Then I also picked up some double cream. You always need double cream in your fridge at Christmas. Um, some dairy spray cream for obviously hot chocolates. Unsalted butter. You just always need some butter in the fridge, don't you? Oh my God, I also got this for my cheese board that I'm going to do. Um, it's a little festive Santa butter. So just thought that'd look cute on the side. Oh my God, Christmas. It's not Christmas time without a camel bear so i got the cranberry clementine and pork dressing one oh this is going to be unreal love camembert um then i got a tex-mex multi-pack um so you get tomato salsa sour cream and chive guacamole and nacho chili cheese dips and then i've also bought some like crisps for this so i'll show you that in a second um then picked up some cheese with your cheddar red leicester i got that primarily for my um cauliflower cheese that i'm going to make on christmas day i also picked up just two packs of flowers because i always like to have fresh flowers out um and yeah these were two for five pound i should have got some red ones really but i like white to go in my living room so yeah got those then i picked up this chocolate layered dessert i think my mum's actually making a um sticky toffee pudding homemade and also she is making oh no she's not making sorry she's bringing just a christmas pudding but i don't really like christmas pudding i will try her sticky toffee pudding though but i also just picked up one of these because i love these at christmas moving on to starters i'm actually doing two starters on christmas day because my dad's not that keen on pate so i'm doing pate for me mitchell and mom so i got our dinner's pate with cranberry brussels pate with mushroom and i have picked up some chutney which i'll show you in a second for that some bread and then just a little bit of garnish on the side um the let me just show you the next um starter whilst i'm on starters because i had to go to mns for this um and it is the cockles scent jacks we had these last year actually they are delicious uh, my dad and brother love them so i got them for them don't think they were cheap though but you know how it is and um, then i picked up some cranberry and port sauce just cranberry sauce um i like the fresh ones with these i also picked up some gravy i do make my own gravy but i just thought this would be nice to add in maybe to add some more flavor so i got a turkey one and beef because yes this year i'm doing turkey and beef at christmas we're going all out mitchell loves beef like it's his favorite thing on a roast dinner um and he's got this thing about turkey being dry which i do understand what he's saying but 
He's not had my turkey. I always get a turkey crown, as you can see. I got this from Co-op. My mum actually picked this up for me. And I always, like, put butter on it, like, shove a lemon up and <laughs> shove a lemon up. But do you know what I mean? Like, I always season it and, um, is it based your turkey? Is that what it's called? Like, I always prep it well. So I never find mine to be dry, but, um, yeah, anyway. Turkey and got sirloin joint beef. Oh, my God, look at the price of that. £22. It's so expensive, but it's Christmas, so you go all out on your Christmas dinner. Pigs in blankets, of course, two packs. Then we move on to stuffing. So I've got pork and apple and cranberry and pork, chestnut, caramelised onion stuffing balls. These are two and five pounds. So I've got those. Two bags of carrots. I like to roast my carrots. So I'm going to do like honey glazed carrots and then I'll also do parsnips with that. So I've got a bag of parsnips there too. Brussels sprouts, just mantra on a Christmas dinner. Do you love or hate Brussels sprouts? Let me know. I actually really like them. Um, and I'm also doing them with these bacon bits in. I seen a recipe in the magazine that I've got, like the Christmas magazine, so I'm gonna do a fancy Brussels thing. Um, I also just picked up some streaky bacon, again, for the top of my turkey. Um, the lemons are for the turkey. I don't know if I need both, but yeah, I got both. Some baby leaf salad, this is for my starter, just to garnish on the side. Cauliflower is for cauliflower cheese. Celery, because when I um, put the beef in, it's a little tin in the oven, um, I put celery, garlic, onion i think do i put onion i can't remember what it is and rosemary i garnish it all and it's really nice and i use that as like the base for my uh, gravy too so yeah that's that then i also got some parsley that is for my turkey too um two bags of potatoes some onions just because i didn't have any in and i always just think onions are a good like cupboard essential then i picked up my fave biscuits because i didn't have any of these in the cupboard and i just wanted some in the cupboard for over christmas diet starts in the new year's guys um so yeah love those and then the malted milk because sometimes i just fancy a plain biscuit you know these are quite rich and chocolatey lovely but but sometimes I just fancy a plain biscuit, so I got those in. I also just picked up a couple of bars of Galaxy because I think I'm going to make some shortbread tomorrow. Um, I will vlog that though. Um, I just picked up some more eggs, some bread sauce, just got a packet mix one because sometimes. Do you know, like with your Christmas dinner, everything can be quite rich, and I, you know, like I've got all of these in the fresh version, so. Yeah, I didn't want everything to be too rich. I've just got a packet one. I think that'll be okay. Uh, I don't think everyone has that anyway. Um, then I got a fig and balsamic chutney. Um, turkey granules, of course. Oh, I also picked up these from M&S. Roast potato seasoning. Apparently it makes your um, roast potatoes like, more crispy and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to try those. Oh, guys, I got another jar of Biscoff. Honestly, if anybody has tried this or has this on the regular, you know the addiction to this. Like, I swear, I have to have a spoon of this a day to get me through now. I mean, that might be exaggerating a little bit, but honestly, it is so addictive. Um, I actually have this with apple. So I like to cut up an apple and just have a little bit on the side and yeah, dip my apple in it. Do you know how you do a peanut butter and apple? Um, but yeah, it is amazing. Um, I then got some duck fat. I do actually have goose fat in the cupboard. I'm not sure which is best to cook with. I didn't realize I had goose fat already, so that's why I picked up this one. Um, let me know if it's much difference but yeah that's for the roast potatoes um just to let you know how i do my roast potatoes not that you need to know because i guess people know how to do roast potatoes but what i do is i like to part boil my potatoes for like around five to eight minutes to get them soft and then i'll put this like duck fat or goose fat on a tray um obviously put your tray in the oven first get it really hot like this needs to be spitting hot that's how hot it needs to be and then once your potatoes like i said are a little bit soft you want to whack these on the hot hot tray um and then put a little bit of salt and pepper like i said you can put this little roast potato season on which i've never used but i'll try and yeah they will be the best roast potatoes you ever do they're like soft inside crispy on the outside um oh next thing ice in bags because i ran out of those just got some pepsi max just in case anyone wants a soft drink barista soya i normally get the barista oatmeal but they didn't have any so yeah i don't I don't tend to have much soya, guys, because I read an article about soya not being that great for you, like for a woman. So, yeah, I don't tend to have it an awful lot, but I know my brother doesn't drink, like, normal milk in his coffee, so I got that in. Um, then just picked up a normal milk. Jacob's crackers. I got the tin version, just because if I don't eat them all, then I feel like they keep a little bit longer in the tin, don't they? So, yeah, grab that. Then I got these tortilla Christmas trees. I'm guessing these might be a little bit smashed up now, because they were in a bag and they had something on top of it. But I just thought these were really cute, and they would go with my little dips I got. Um, then I just got a bag of popcorn, because I'm going to be watching some movies during the holidays. This, by the way, is the best popcorn ever. If you've never tried this, sweet and salted by Butter Kissed. 
it's just the best just trust me just get it try it um also just picked up some snacks what's it giants flaming heart oh my goodness these just look unreal i love flaming heart monster munch so yeah i thought i'd grab those some snowy fingers because i just feel like fingers are again like another christmas party essential in your cupboard um then got two lots of bread some white bread sourdough one and then oh my god i saw this and was like this spread is just me i never eat crust guys i just don't i don't know what it is with crust i just don't like crusts so yeah this is perfect for me so yeah tasty wholemeal got that easy garlic bread if you've never had this from morrison's you need to try it it is the best garlic bread ever like Ever. Um, so yeah, it's in the frozen section and I always grab some every time I go. Um, some petit pois. I might do some peas on my Christmas dinner, so grab them. And then moving on to the last few bits, some dishmatic refills because yeah, Mitchell's is looking grubby and I've not got any more refills, so I'd like to keep some in the cupboard. Um, then picked up another sift because I ran out. Got some wild rhubarb wipes, and then yes, another pack of wipes, the big and strong kitchen cleaning wipes. I actually got these for my flash mop thing. Do you know the one where you put wipes on? Obviously, the wipes you normally use for it are actually like eco-friendly and stuff but they're like six pound a pack and i just couldn't justify paying that for like 15 wipes or whatever so these were like two pounds and you get 25 wipes and i thought you could just use these on the bottom of your um like speed mops so yeah i'm going to try them then just picked up some sheba for the cats their favorite little biscuits um this green harpic because i ran out and then i got a few bottles of wine in i meant to get two pink moscatos is that how you say it i always feel like that's wrong as well but anyway don't know how this happened guys i think because they were next to each other and i didn't look i ended up getting a white zinfandel as well but to be fair this is actually quite nice but this is my fave um and then i just picked up my old wine too um i did also get a ton of beer like for mitchell and my dad and stuff but they're all in my boots still because they were just way heavy to bring in but anyway guys that is the end of the video that is my christmas food shop of 2020 i really hope you've enjoyed this video um and yeah thank you all so so much for watching and i shall see you in my next one Bye bye